Thank you, Kira, for sponsoring today's video. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This week, I'm really excited because we are getting started on a makeover that I've been wanting to do literally ever since we moved in. I've been putting it off for way too long, and this is the first thing that you see once you walk into our house, and that is the entryway. I've really been focusing on setting the tone in the house, and this is just an area that you cannot avoid. You're always passing it when you're walking upstairs. It's an area that's out in the open, and it's kind of become a catch-all for all of our things. So I really want to make it feel more intentional so that we actually keep it clean and organized. I want this area to bring a sense of calm and kind of just be a point of inspiration. It's the first thing that I see before I go into my workshop. This is the same reason that I worked on the cabinet last week and I just want to keep that going. Let me actually bring you guys over there and show you the current state of it because it is a small area, but I feel like with these DIYs, it's going to look so different. All right, guys, here is the infamous little little entryway nook that I was talking about. As you can tell, it's kind of just a little dumping ground. So I usually have paint and supplies before I go into the workshop over here, which if you didn't know, this leads into our garage and is on the second floor. So it's a very interesting arrangement. If you haven't seen our full apartment tour, I will link it here. But yeah, I basically walk by every single day, put on my shoes, take off my shoes. And this has become a little catch-all where we put our purse, our keys, glasses, bags of returns, and usually boxes of returns will end up here. I think it's nice that they designed a little entryway area in this apartment but I do wish it was like closed storage because this really is not functional. Up top we have this huge open area that is not being utilized at all and then we have this shelf just going straight across. It has that same quartz that we have going throughout the whole house so that is nice because it's super minimal. And then on the bottom again we have a huge open space that we usually just kick our shoes over there and it just does not look good. I have to show you guys literally the cutest little lucky cat. My mom actually bought this for us when she came the other week when she was staying with us. She thought our house was missing something special so she bought this for us when we were visiting Little Saigon and she actually got like a big golden version for their salon so now we both have little lucky cats and I just love it so much. It just makes me happy every time I look at it. So clearly this is not serving us at all and I feel like like if I were to make this more intentional, I wouldn't want to mess it up and put stuff all over it all the time. That is kind of my thought process with most of the house. If I've made it over and made it look pretty, then I will want to keep it looking pretty. So hopefully that will be the case with this area. I have a lot of ideas of what I think could happen in this space. So I'm going to brainstorm and figure out exactly how I want this to look. Okay, I'm looking for a tan color. What do you think would be good? I think it looks good, but maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, let's find the perfect one. This one's a little bit more orangey. Mm -hmm. I think I want something a little bit more like brown tone. Maybe like this? I could spend like an hour just standing here comparing colors. Mm -hmm. I like the circus peanut. <laughs> I think we found the winner. Yay! <laughs> Why is getting a cart such a struggle? Let's grab the plywood. It's sanded and it's thin enough for me to use as the sides. This guy actually came up to me and asked if I needed help and I was like, no, it's okay. I'm like on my last piece. And then he stood there anyways, like just holding the wood. <laughs> my wife is a strong, independent woman. <laughs> I think he was just trying to be helpful and I definitely appreciated it. But yeah, I could have done it myself. More wood secured and time to start this project. Be able to stand on this? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm 
guess I don't need a ladder. No, I need a ladder. know that most of the time I swatch my paints before I actually choose the final one but for a wall this small I just chose the best swatch at the store and basically we're just gonna hope for the best I wanted a golden tan color and I feel like this is perfect it's called antique penny from bear <gasps> Look at that. And since we're really sectioning this off, you guys saw I did the crispy light hack. So I used the same paint color right along the edge. And now that it's dry, we're able to go on with our paint color. And when we peel the tape later, it's going to be a very satisfying crispy line. Let's talk game plan for this little nook. I was toying around with a couple of different ideas. So here are the options. I knew I wanted to paint up top just to add a pop of color. So of course we're doing that first. Then I was thinking of doing either shelves like these or an arch on the top or the bottom and ultimately after playing around with it i decided it would just make more sense to do shelves on the bottom so that we have easy access to items plus it leaves room for a mirror up top which is a must for any entryway and did i mention we're gonna make this all look built in It is so chilly this morning. I'm just trying to take a moment to myself before we get started today because there is a lot to do. I have my tea steeping right now and I actually keep my vitamins next to my tea station now so that I don't miss a single day. Every morning after I eat, I just grab one of these little pill packs and I just love that they have my name on them. These are from Care-of who is sponsoring today's video and basically it just has all my pills that I need for the day in here. Now that I'm officially in my 30s, my health is more important to me than ever, like my body aches in the morning and my knees are cracking all the time, especially when I'm painting or working on projects. And I just want to make sure that I'm taking care of myself as best as I can so I can DIY for a very long time. There's just something about these little pill packets that makes it so easy and also fun to take every day because they have a little fact or a joke on the front. I really love that you can personalize these. So I went on their website, took the quiz and basically let them know what I want to focus on. And then they curate everything together for you. So for me personally, I wanted to focus on my skin and eye health and also I got a multivitamin with iron in it because I do want to cover any nutrient gaps that I'm not getting in my diet currently. Their products are designed to work with research-backed ingredients and optimal doses and there are no fillers. So if you want to get your own personalized plan, definitely take their quiz. I know we're already three months into the year, but honestly, it's never too late to get started on your well-being journey. So if you would like to check out Care of, get 50% off subscription items in your first order with code TINA50. I also have a QR code if you want to scan that. I am just excited to continue this good habit and I hope you guys are too. So thank you Karov for sponsoring today's video. Let's get our day started. Cheers. So as you guys saw, we tried to get as much as we could cut in stores, but it was so busy that I felt bad asking them to do all of the cuts. So here we are at home with these giant pieces that I still have to cut myself. I'm gonna start with our faux built-in right now. So I'm keeping this as cost-effective as possible by using plywood. And I'm gonna try to make this as renter-friendly as possible and try not to make a bunch of holes in the wall. So that's kind of how I'm planning the build-out for this. The idea is to kind of build 
build a shell for the body first and that way it can kind of basically slide into that little nook at the bottom. I think I have a pretty solid plan, but honestly, we won't know until we actually try it out. So let's make it happen. So I'm building this by using the existing nook to help hold it together. I really don't want to drill a ton of holes into the wall. And I'm finding as a renter, it's actually more of a challenge to find creative ways to make things not permanent and still look really good. I'm pretty confident that this is gonna work, but I've definitely gone through lots of trial and error and found apartment hacks that work and some that don't. And over the next couple of months, I'm going to share some updates of how they've been holding up. And I'll also be sharing which ones were a complete fail. Okay, I'm doing a dry fit right now and I'm running into a little bit of trouble. So this is a test piece that's a scrap just so I can test it out before I put it in. Obviously, it's too short. But I was putting in this bottom piece. There's gonna be this weird gap right here. So I think I'm gonna have to like cut out a little L piece and then cut out these a little bit shorter just so that it makes more sense. Also, since the wall is not straight, I have to cut these all weird sizes. So whenever you're working with nooks, definitely be prepared to cut off the smallest little sliver every single time. But so far, this is looking pretty good. I have to do the cleats underneath. Somehow it's staying up with just like the friction on both sides, but this will be supported. So even though this is like super frustrating, I'm glad that I get to go through this and show you guys the real challenges that you go through with DIY. It's a chance for me to learn and also to share my knowledge with you guys because even though this project may seem kind of on the smaller side, there are definitely challenges that you need to overcome. And yeah, I know we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna take a deep breath. <sighs> I'm ready. What? That's some wood stuck in your oh hair. Oh my god. I need to shower. Some wood stuck in your <laughs> Okay, we have made so much progress in just one day. I honestly don't even know how I knocked this all out yesterday. I think I was just so excited to figure it out because this literally is a puzzle piece and I did a lot of stuff off camera because it's a lot of small adjustments and just figuring it out as I go. So once we actually go to install, I will show you guys how I'm actually keeping everything into place. But so far, this is looking pretty good. It looks like an actual built-in, which is the whole goal. So my goal today is to stain all of this so that we can install it tomorrow. I also have to do a little bit of touch-up paint over here. And we are getting started on the arch. So this is what we are using. This is called the hardboard. It's actually a yucca board and it's a super smooth, thin panel. Originally I wanted to use MDF, but that could be a little bit heavy. So this is just super thin and lightweight and we could just use brackets to secure it to the sides. It was also very inexpensive. So a whole sheet of this is only $14 and like 50 cents. And this is a great material because you could use it for so many things. Like I've seen people use laser cutters with this. You could also use it for paneling or do what we're doing today, which is to use it as an arch. So I did have them cut it for me in the store, but I just measured it and it's not exactly 49 and a half. So I'm going to do a little bit of a dry fit and fingers crossed this will work. But if it doesn't, I know that there are other ways that we could fix it. Please be on my side today, DIY gods. Is this too big actually? What? Um, how's that possible? Okay, so this is actually off by like a quarter of an inch maybe, which is strange because I measured it correctly, I thought. Okay, let's re-measure this.
versus the front part here. Okay. A little bit more. Here we go again. Okay. We did it. If it. Oh. I need a break. <laughs> When it comes to arches, you guys already know the drill. We have to make one of these DIY compasses. It basically is just a better, more stable way than using the string and pencil method. It literally takes like five minutes to make. You just have to drill a hole for the nail at the bottom and then a hole for your pencil at the top. And you just wanna make sure that the distance between the holes is halfway between the whole entire width of your board. Then from there, you could put your nail through the bottom hole and then hammer it into place at the bottom, put your pencil on the top, and then trace it all the way through. One of my biggest fears when I went back to renting was not being able to personalize it how I want, and I just always thought that I had to demo or make permanent changes to make an impact with my makeovers. But being in the space has reignited a spark in me to think more creatively because even with renting, you can still make such a big change. Just cut through the table. I can't believe I made that mistake. I forgot how thin the board was. Okay, let's try that again. Like if you think about it, all I did was cut a few pieces of wood to attach together and I was able to make this arch completely custom. It makes a statement and is totally unique in an otherwise pretty basic nook. And I love that we still have the flexibility to change it around, it's easy to remove, and we can even repurpose these materials later down the line. Pro tip of the day, if you're working on a project and you can't really visualize it and you're working by yourself, film yourself on a camera or on your phone holding the item wherever you want it to be. So for example, I'm doing a dry fit right now. I want to make sure that it looks good. But I also use this trick for doing gallery walls with picture frames and placement and stuff. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to hold it in place and then I will check back on my footage to make sure it's good. Sliding it all the way up. Does this look good, you guys? Oh my God, I'm so excited to install this. I checked back the footage and I also took a little self timer photo and it looks so good, you guys. I am kind of surprised by how seamless it's already looking. There are a couple of spots that I wanna sand down still, but we are pretty much ready to go. I'm going to prime this and I also have to cut down some support cleats so that we can actually install this tomorrow. Time to actually put this into place now. I have to do a couple of dry fits before I actually like permanently put it into place. So I'm actually going to use some command strips on the back of this one. These side panels are basically going to sandwich this back panel into place. And then we're gonna add cleats across this and then the whole length of this as well for the middle shelf. But since the walls are all crooked, I can't just like measure it from the bottom and put the cleats on right away. I have to make sure it's all leveled first. So let's go ahead and do that first and make sure everything is good to go. Also, can we talk about how beautiful this color is I don't think I've done a stain this dark in a very long time and I think it's gonna look really good against the painted wall Okay, so I have everything marked off and the tape is basically showing us where the cleat is gonna go. So this is for the backside. So this is where the support cleat is gonna sit and I'm basically going to brand nail it from behind so that it has a lot to stick through. And we're also gonna use wood glue to make sure that this is super secure. It's working.
my gosh. It's good. Is it good? Yes. Ta-da! Oh my gosh. It actually worked. Um, did we really just do this? Like, this is a built-in. I have to do a little bit of touch-up on the stain and then I'm gonna do a top coat so that everything is nice and sealed. But you guys, we actually made it happen. I honestly can't even describe how I feel right now because this looks very legit. I am seriously so happy. I can't believe that this is all put together literally with brad nails and being innovative. And yeah, I still can't believe how good this looks, but honestly, anything is possible when you put your mind to it. It is final install day, which means I get to style this cute little corner. The last thing I need to do is to install the arch. So I have these two pieces of wood that actually is just scrap pieces that work perfectly for this. This is what we're going to install the arch on. So I am going to make two holes into the wall, but these should be pretty easy to fill up once we move out. So it's gonna sit in the wall like this. We're also going to add anchors to make sure it's nice and secure. So I'll have two screws going in here. The arch will sit on top and I'm going to brad nail it on the sides here. There are so many different ways that you could attach this. You could even use L brackets if you didn't want to use support cleats. But since my arch is so thin, there's not a lot of material to work with. So brad nailing it just seemed like the best way. I have done some pretty big projects in this apartment so far, but this has been one of the most fun and fulfilling ones I've done yet. Like, I feel like this project had a lot of dramatics added to it, to say the least, but that's kind of what makes them so much more memorable and worth it once we get to the finish line. You can probably tell I just couldn't contain my excitement when it came to this makeover, and once we got to the styling part, it was just a lot of fun to bring it to life. This mirror is actually the same one that we had in our old house, so I'm glad that we have it back in our lives. And even though I'm styling this to look super cute for the video, we will probably end up putting shoes on the shelves anyways. And in case you forgot, let's take a quick look back at the before and here is the after. Oh my God, I hope you can't hear that. My stomach is grumbling. This honestly was a little bit of a crazy idea, but I think from this project, I've learned that anything can be renter friendly as long as you have the patience to figure it out and also have the patience to take it down once you do move out. I'm gonna love every second that we have with this and I just love that this is the first thing I see when I walk into the house, when I'm going around the house and it's no longer an eyesore. It honestly is motivating me to like do the actual hallway because now that there's paint in this little nook, the rest of it just looks so plain. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments and also let me know what you guys think about this project. If you take any inspiration for your own spaces and even if you're not a renter you can totally take these project ideas and put them in your own space and if you do end up doing that make sure to tag me over on instagram so i can see all of your beautiful projects i will actually share some of your projects on the screen because i have not done that in a long time and you guys seriously just make my whole entire day every single time i see one and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe below and also give this video a thumbs up so you can see more from me that is it for me today thank you so much for watching stay inspired and I will see you in the next one. Bye.